nanotubes and photomultipliers. In this video, we will be discussing two main points. The first main point is, what is a phototube and how is it used? A phototube is a device that controls the flow of electrons by means of fluctuation and different wavelengths of light. It is designed to emit an electric current when exposed to light or any other form of electromagnetic radiation. The phototube has earned the moniker Electric Eye for its use in a wide range of light sensing applications. These applications include spectrophotometry, blood analysis, and pollution analysis. We'll take a closer look at spectrophotometry and how a phototube is used. This is a diagram that shows a phototube is connected to a primary light source. The light is then emitted to one single wavelength of light through the use of a monochromator, which passes through the sample cuvette, and then unabsorbed light then passes through, the, through to the detector. In this case, a phototube, which then converts photons of light into electrons, can be read through a data collecting device. The phototube works by the principle of the photoelectric effect. This diagram illustrates the principle of the photoelectric effect. First, photons of light are emitted from a light source at a certain given wavelength. The photon then strikes a photocathode. The cathode is coated with a bialkali coating which ionizes the photon, creating electrons that are then collected at the anode. The anode collects these electrons which creates an electrical current through the system, and then we are able to use that information to collect data. We will now discuss the different parts of the phototube and their purpose. First, the glass casing allows to house the cathode or the anode and allows to reflect any ambient light that may be present. The photocathode is the primary site where the photoelectric effect initiates. Again, through the coating of the bialkali substance on the cathode, it converts photons of lights into excited electrons. The anode is the site where ionized electrons are collected and then transported to the readout device. Our second and final point will be, will be to address what sets photomultipliers into its own category and its usefulness in the amplification process of converting photons of light into usable, usable and more functional units of current. A photomultiplier is a modification of a simple phototube. It is a special kind of phototube being that it is extremely sensitive to light because of its ability to amplify. Photomultipliers are used when light fluxes are extremely low. A high light flux could easily damage a photomultiplier. This is another reason why photomultipliers are able to amplify at such low light intensities. The mechanism of a photomultiplier starts out when a photon is first emitted into the cathode, which is then converted into an electron. The photocathode is coated with a bialkali coating which ionizes the electron and is then passed into a sequence of dynodes. Each dynode is coated again with the bialkali metal that initiates the photoelectric effect. This process is then able to turn a single electron through a series of interactions with the dynodes into a million subsequent electrons. Once electrons have successfully gone through all the dynodes, it is then absorbed by the anode and sent to a readout device creating an electric effect. In conclusion, phototubes are used to measure the changes and fluctuations in different wavelengths of light. This is done by the photoelectric principle. Through this principle, photons are able to be ionized through the interaction of the bialkali coating on the photocathode. La lastly, photomultiplier tubes are used to amplify wavelengths of unabsorbed light through the same principle but with the addition of a series of dynodes that can amplify even the smallest amount of electron signal.